we come up, we'd rather have to come up and right. do the two assemblies and setting it down. All right, that's one thing. They need to make sure that the ribs are the ribs. I mean, they have shells so don't do what they call spread. You can take this and you can do it a bunch of different ways. I don't care how you do it. Body has void spots, all right? Now, remember to do it. All right. If it's his hips and you know it, all you got to do is go, no, don't, don't, don't do nothing. Let me do it all. This one, and that one up to about right there. In the state test, remember we don't flip or turn, just roll it around like so. Class notes. What was that? Alright, so now we got all of our heat fractures. We got all the all the all the ties in place, okay, as we can see. Now <coughs> you're gonna have to come back and you're gonna have to take this pillow or this blanket. You can do it this way and put it up in the crotch like so, or you can unfold it however you choose. You know, make it thicker. In this case, okay. you won't have any worries. You just take this up, put this up, and it is crossed as far as it'll go. Now, she's going to hold his hips. We're going to have to bring his legs together. So we'll just say it's his left hip that's broken. All right, so we can take his right, or his, um, I'm sorry, yeah, his left hip. I can take his right, move it in like so. All right, now I have it tight, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm building a, I'm building a blanket or building a, um, a complete vo no voids, no voids, but I'm building one complete unit. So, where would I tie, start tying my ties? So I would do what? So I come down here. One of the things about it is, come back, check what? This is what top pulse, right? Check back here, right? See, do not take your pen and run up his, uh, run up his toes, because what do they have a tendency to do? Tickle. Jump. And if they jump and he has a broken hip or broken pelvis, you think it's going to cause some pain? Yeah, but I want to do it once. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you can do is, I always take, move it over, I put my feet like so. You can go like this. Is this a surgical knot? Wrap three, pull one, meaning like so. Alright, that's kind of tight. Some of you won't be able to do that. Alright, so if you, don't know, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always go with one. Pull it down. Now remember, I'm tying bows so we can get him back out. He would tie knots. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Come up, find his knees. What we're going to do first is just kind of stabilize. Okay. He has a female touching him. He's happy. <laughs> All I need is some morphine. I have good to do. <laughs> Come back up with this one, just right below the uh, crotch area. What you do from there is take a sterile occlusive dressing and place over it. Okay. Now this one is just going to come right up over top. This is the most important one because I'm actually, make sure it's kind of even. Because you got an even, uh, an even pull. Right, this one's going to be a little bit tight because you want to bring the girdle right back together. Right? So, basically, like this. Now, remember, I'm tying bows because I want to get them out of it. In actual life, I'm going to tie knots. So now, he's all tied up. He's all tied up. 
Come back. Check and see if I got what after I did one intervention, I'm gonna check back, right? I got a pulse. I got a pulse there. He feels me, I tickle his toes, whatever. Right? Now my partner is still holding hips. Is there, is there a chance that one leg could be longer than another? Yes. Okay, but they still may be equal too, so we don't have to worry about that. When you measure this, you're gonna measure this is what? Is that the feet or is that the is this the head? Which is which? The larger one is the feet. The larger one is the feet. Yeah. All right. So if I take this I get a, and I put it on somebody. Which which way am I putting it on? And that's how we'll do the secure. Take a look. What's, what are we missing out of this? Nobody ever caught it. Give me that head. Okay. This is the head strap. These are the old-fashioned ones. If we can use it, it's fine. But we won't use this during test time. This is the head strap. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is. <coughs> Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to come up, I measure them. These are the clips, okay, and make sure they're locked in, okay, check it before you move any, okay, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put this right here, alright, he's helping us out a little bit now, what I'm going to do is, since she's basically in the way, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, when you, when you originally start, you want to start to the broken side. All right, this way you're out of the way of the working area. So in actuality, she would be over here holding a hand, holding it on this side. This would be the last part, the last area I go. So now she's going to swing her hips over this way. Swing your hips over there. Point your butt at Burnett. Point your butt at Burnett. Stretch out a little bit. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now we got a problem. Okay. Now what? Which called it? It's called a what? A scoop stretcher for a reason, right? You're scooping somebody. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, click that head. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here. A partner still has here. I'm going to reach over to her and basically pull this in as far as I can. I'm going to take this. Well, this is here. Now, one thing we don't have on him, if we if he we if we think that he fell down the steps and hurt his hurt his uh hurt his pelvis, broke his pelvis, we're gonna have a collar on him, right? So he's gonna summon and then we're gonna have the engine company doing what? Holding stabilization. Alright, so you have to think about that. You hold his neck. Alright, so this is where this is where he's gonna be holding the neck. Now I'm gonna come over here, alright, and I'm gonna come in. And I'm going to try it to see if I can get it in. in. Now the problem is, I don't know, did I get you? But, but, now the only problem we have is with this old fashioned scoop stretcher is we got to figure out what we're going to do with that pad. Right? That's going to be the pain in the butt. So now, go around one time, go around a second time. Like so. On three, you're going to lift just a hair. Okay, so you can see it. beginning we would have a collar on right so he's basically done for the time being now can we put him <clears throat> in a board or uh, um, a headlock and collar right there take him to the board sure we can but not with this kind of pad so we're gonna have to wait till we get him with what a hard board meaning the long board so everything is gonna be done by his command if we're gonna move him to the long board short board whatever okay or well, actually long board or the cop she's basically done to get him to where we have to get him, we're going to have to do what to him on the board now. 
We're going to spider strap them. All right? So that means what? Do we, do we bring up spider straps? Probably not. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Nah, we don't need a longboard there. So now we'll go from here to where? To the longboard, right? From the longboard to the top. And then he gets, it, it, when he gets put on the longboard, that's where he gets spider strap all the way out. So he doesn't move at all. All right. All right. And then, at, of course, we're going to go back if, we're, if we think it's just, the, if it's not, the, if he's not his neck, he can hold leave coat. And in this case, just leave coat for a second. We just know it's his, we just know it's his pelvis. All right. So now we would just be worried about it. Anyway. But that's the whole wrap job of the hip. in the chest. Okay. One other thing that we forgot to talk about is if you come back up and you see a prior prism, right. now you know he has a what? Back injury. Well, not just a back injury, a spinal injury. Cervical, cervical spine injury, right? Just because of <laughs> That's a possibility, too. All right. So, That's how I threw my hip open. Wow. All right. So, you will never have a dull moment with this. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, so we know that that's where we're at, but that's how that's how the hip is all done. Okay, guys, we all right with that? Any questions? All right. So he's done here. Now, 